I've just done about 4 k's of off-road through uh, you know really windy stuff and uh, yeah a bit of a bastard the, the GoPro wasn't on anyway the way Jim's got this rigged up you can turn the um, you can turn the, the ABS off on the fly which is really good really handy um, look out there I'll stop and do a review somewhere along here I probably won't get much more dirt I would say I think I've come through all of it and uh, most of it with no camera anyway how does it perform on dirt really well it's very stable on dirt it's uh, it doesn't slide around it's, it's uh, I haven't let down the tire pressures because I don't have a compressor on me and I'm gonna get back on the task soon I don't have a lot of time but just to let you guys know the super jewel on uh, on dirt is uh, really really good Quick, uh, plush suspension you know you've got a rear cush drive on these which makes them really really good um, and as I said Jim's rigged up a switch on the handlebars to be able to just turn his ABS off on the fly which makes it really really handy um, see through here it's a nice big camping area up here and get a lot of tourists up around this way come out today because I think tomorrow the weather's going to be really bad and um, yeah that's not going to be good for the weather ain't going to be real good for stuff for riding probably and I've got to hand the bike back Sunday today's Friday for me yeah so yeah but, um, yeah it goes real well off road sorry I missed about I missed about four k's of dirt really windy dirt which was great he's missed that sorry about that but, um, you know it doesn't perform really any different off-road than my super jewel does they're pretty much the same bike except for the ABS and the fuel gauge and a couple other little bits and pieces but other than that they're virtually the same bike but, uh, it's a good ride through here I'm glad I noticed that the wasn't working Lucky I've still got a bit of dirty to show you. Okay guys, up, oh, fuck, it's been hit with a stick, it's been on tar again, don't know, bit of tar, hopefully that's not the end of the dirt guys, oh no cool, it's not, just a bridge, just a bridge. Now another reason I'm taking it easy guys, this isn't my bike so, you know, I don't want to prank Jim's bike. Not that I, I would, but I wouldn't want to do it. So I'm basically taking it easy. It's a pretty new bike. He's only got 3,000 Ks on it. It's 7,000 miles or something. And uh, yeah. But she's so smooth. It's such a smooth bike. Ah, uh, what a shame. Into the dirt. <clears throat> That is there. Mount Earth Road. Oh no, another bridge. Oh yeah, it's a little more dirty. Oh, that's good. See, it's a real ready clay shit. When this stuff gets wet, she gets real slippery. This stuff does. Lucky it's been reasonably dry for a couple of days. Had a bit of light rain, but that's pretty much it. So since they get such a lot of rain in North Queensland most of the time, uh, 
I guess it does take a while for these to get pretty slippery and gnarly and a bit of sunshine dries out pretty quick Hope you're enjoying the ride I know I am Little power slide in the corner <laughs> Like I said I've got shit tyres on and high tyre pressures so like I said I'm taking it easy guys and girls be politically correct so if, if you guys are watching this and never seen uh, you know heard much about the Super Jewel the SWM they're basically uh, the old Husky T630 um, the guy that used to design them and all that uh, once KDM bought Husky um, got the rights to build them again and, uh, but he obviously had to build them under a different name, couldn't build them under obviously KDM name. So these are the 2010 to 2012 Huskies. And they made a uh, an adventure bike out of one of them, the Super Jewel. So they're not a new bike, you know, they've got the same motor as the T630, but they've changed the fuel injection system and, and fixed a lot of the little faults that the T630 had, which I reckon it's a great thing. So they've already got a great product which was a good and a lot of people uh, rated the T630s and they made it a better bike and same with the RS500 SWM and 300 they were the old Husky T630 510 and most people rated them there's a lot of parts on the T630 that are interchangeable with the Super Jewel 650 and the same with the 500s and the 300s as well so yeah, a lot of parts are interchangeable which is a good thing we go a bit of open country again hope you're enjoying this guys like I said I'm enjoying it Busy looking at the my great GoPro bloody thing and not looking at the road then. What I might do guys is uh, after this bend I might turn it off and then I can turn it back on again. Oh, here we go. Might need to. I think we're back on the the hard pack stuff. Now we're up near Atherton, Atherton Way in uh, above Cairns. If you want to know where we are, it's beautiful countryside up here. Beautiful terrain. Uh, back on dirt. Okay, guys, I'll 